Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for, uh, this is your bonus love reading for the rest of the year. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and um, a lot of people have been requesting love readings since love keeps showing up so much in the readings that I've been doing lately. So I figured we'd take a look at it in your first row. We're gonna look at your general energies in your next row. We're gonna look at the, your person's current feelings for you. This could be a new person or a past person, doesn't matter. Uh, in your next row, we're gonna look at uh, who's coming towards you and we'll just see if anyone is coming towards you here. And then in your last row, we are going to um, see if there's anything unexpected coming in for you and uh, as far as love is concerned. And that will be right here. On top of that, I'm gonna pull three yes or no question cards at the end and I will give you time to think of your questions. Well, in general, you have this true love card. It says pure uh, love, honest connection. So I feel like this is something new that's coming in for you. If you already have love, you know, then I on, honestly, if I'm being honest with you, I probably shouldn't say this, <laughs> but if you already have love, I feel like this reading is not for you, uh, plain and simple. I mean, you know, I think there are things that show up here. There's probably a lot of happiness, but I feel like if you already have love, then you know, things are just gonna continue as they are for the rest of the year is what I would say here. If you, um, you know, I think this is for most of those of you that are looking for new love and or have experienced a tower moment clearly. You have the tower, six of swords to the 10 of swords right here. And you have the death card. So I would say that if you're going through a transformation, this is like true love coming in after some sort of long transformation. You have the five of wands, the sun, in the Queen of Swords, a little bit closed off at this time, Taurus. This could be you just being a little bit closed off, which again, obviously, if you went through a difficult ending recently, like the Tower and the Ten of Swords, very difficult energy. It's kind of interesting because I don't want to keep flipping back to this camera, but you know, having the Six of Swords in the middle tells me that you're you go back and forth between kind of like healing and um, Tower, <laughs> you know, healing and thinking like your life is over. And maybe it's not that dramatic for some of you, but I feel like for some of you, I get this. So I get this back and forth energy between the uh, Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. And um, you know, I feel like I'm going back and forth, which is pretty interesting. But uh, with the Queen of Swords, like you could have your guard up at this time uh, against new love. I, the interesting thing is, is you have the sun. And the sun tells me like you want to be happy. And maybe, you know, again, obviously if you're watching this reading, you want love. And so I feel like you want to be happy. It's like you want to be childish in a good way. I mean that in a good way, not in a bad way. You know, the sun is about being childlike, you know, having a relationship that's playful, fun, lighthearted. And not that it's not serious, but just, you know, fun. It brings joy into your life. And I kind of feel like that's your focus at this time. Uh, you have the five of wands as well. So I feel like you've been experiencing conflict for a small percentage of you. Again, I feel the conflict is clearly this top row right here. Um, you know, this tells me that maybe you've been dealing with a person or people who are not on the same page as you, having the Five of Wands with the Tower. That Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles also tells me that someone you could be or have been dealing with a person. You know, well, I'll say that King of Pentacles is you, but I feel like some of you could be dealing or have dealt with a person who is just too stuck in their ways. I feel like they're not willing to change. Could have been a Scorpio for sure, or someone or uh, a Leo. So fixed sign. You know, do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, you have that negotiation card popping out there. I don't know if you saw that, but, um, you know, I feel like maybe you were dealing with a person who didn't want to negotiate. Uh, I'm clarifying with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, by the way. With the Five of Wands, you have this detachment card. See, I feel like you you are detached from a situation now. It's almost like you tried and tried and tried and tried, and then you just can't try any longer. That's the best way I could describe it, Taurus, where, you know, you finally just give up. And I, this isn't even about giving up. I feel like it's just, um, you know, more about not banging your head against the wall, right? So it's like you were forced to detach from a situation I don't think this is a bad thing though. Uh, here you go, with the sun, you have the optimism card through all the things that you have been through. <laughs> I feel like you're still optimistic, Taurus, clearly. I feel like you're still kind of looking on the bright side, even though this is a little bit of a dark reading, although I don't think it's bad. I think it's describing a situation that you've already been through, so I don't really feel, you know, it's saying that, you know, this isn't like a surprise or anything like that, but I feel like you're still optimistic. With the Queen of Swords, you have the Secrets card, Scorpio. <laughs> this is Venus and Scorpio, this card. So I definitely feel like someone had secrets that could have been very surprising to you, Taurus, and it caused like an ending, or it just caused you to be standoffish just in general. 
uh, with the uh, that secrets card. Uh, next, in your person's current feelings, uh, you have this sore card. I kind of feel like this is a, a person that you're attracting as well. Um, you know, I feel like you could be attracting a person who it has been set free. <laughs> so you could be attracting a person who has also recently been through a tower moment or a major transformation with the tower and the death card coming up together. The only thing that would make this more powerful would be if we get the judgment card. But again, I'm not clarifying with the tarot, so that's not going to happen. But what I would say is I kind of get those vibes from this reading where you could be dealing with a new person or a new person's about to show up. And I feel like they've gone through a major transformation. The interesting thing is I feel like it's very internal. You know, you could be dealing with a person who has had like a significant mindset shift, like all of a sudden in their brain about relationships. And I feel like this is a positive thing, but again, I feel like they went through pain um, to experience this. And you have that Knight of Pentacles as well. So the Knight of Pentacles tells me that this person might just want to take things a little bit more slowly. I don't think this is a bad thing either. Just based off of like the readings I've done so far, I would say that maybe people are in a space of not wanting to rush. And I really don't see a problem with that, especially with Mars going retrograde. It's like, if you're getting any into anything at the end of this year, I would take my time. <laughs> like I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't rush it. I definitely wouldn't like force things to happen, right? I would just say, I, I would just, number one, I would really pay attention to the details is what I'm getting in your reading here is I would make sure that you're not like settling. And of course, nobody's perfect, as I always say. So I don't think we have to settle in relationships, but I do feel we need to realize that nobody's perfect, number one, and there are always gonna be things to work on in relationships. But I feel like there are just like certain little lessons that you've learned over the years. And this is like saying, you know, if you meet a person, are they giving you these red flags that you've learned in the past? That's what I mean by paying attention to the small details. And uh, I'm getting a lot in this row, if you can't tell. So I'm kind of getting that here. You have the tower, the death card, and the two of pentacles. And again, so again, it's kind of interesting because this row is about someone's current feelings, but I kind of feel like these feelings are their own. <laughs> um, but th like, not for you is what I'm getting here, Taurus. I feel that they're going through a tower moment. I feel like you could be going through a tower moment. So if you meet someone at this time, maybe you just start off as friends or maybe you start off kind of slow or it doesn't really progress very quickly, right? Maybe it takes its time because you've both been going through tower moments and you're kind of both rebuilding. I don't see this as a bad thing in this situation. Again, you have the uh, death card. So someone's going through me. I feel like maybe both of you are going through a major transformation, but definitely a person you're attracting is going through a transformation. It's kind of funny because I feel like some of you have dealt with a Scorpio. I do not feel this person is a Scorpio. I actually am not really picking up on anything other than Earth uh, just at this moment in this reading. That might change in a minute. But uh, at, as it stands, I'm not really picking up on this person's sign right away. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles. Again, I feel like you could be attracting someone who's very busy uh, just in general. Maybe they work a lot. Uh, maybe they have a family that they take care of as well or something like that. But I, I, I definitely am getting very busy vibes off of this person. So I feel that they're kind of trying to create balance. I also feel like they are reorganizing their life in general. So if you're wondering like, who is this person? Because I do feel it's a new person. I don't think it's someone you know. Some of you might have your eye on this person or they might have their eye on you. Of course, it's always true. But you know, I, for most of you, I don't think you know who this person is yet or it's you know just hasn't gotten anywhere yet. And I feel one way you will know who this person is, is again, I feel like they're reorganizing their life. Me, uh, I don't know, those are the words I keep getting. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, with the tower, you have this influence card. I feel like maybe a past person was influenced. Again, it's not even worth talking about the past because, you know, that tower, five of wands, death, ten of swords, <laughs> that really, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That to me says that the past is dead, done over with. It's time to move on. It's time to move towards something better, something more fair. And again, I feel that's what's coming in for you is something much more fair, much more balanced. With the death card, you have this eccentricity card. Everybody, It's really weird that everyone has been getting this. One of the main reasons I decided to do these love readings is because I did the yearly love readings at the beginning of 2022. And I said at the end of 2022 and pretty much all those readings that I felt like the end of the year was gonna be much better for love. And it's interesting that like everyone in those readings had the two of cups. Two of cups is a card of attracting like an eccentric partner, someone who is different than your usual type. On a traditional two of cups, the two people are meant to look very different. So again, I feel this is saying that you could be attracting someone who just isn't what you would normally go for. And uh, I feel like it's a good thing because again, everybody has been getting that. <laughs> so, you know, either way, I feel like it's gonna be good for you. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the criticism card. Um, remember what I was saying about being very detail-oriented. I don't think you're um, 
criticizing anything. I don't think anyone's criticizing you. I would just pay attention with this energy to the details because, you know, I feel like the details are going to be important for you, Taurus. I feel that a lot of you could be kind of like seeing little things that happen. Uh, I just feel there's a chance that you could meet a couple of people right now. And you're, again, to make the right decision, I feel you really need to pay attention to like past situations or, you know, towards your wisdom, the things that you have learned in past relationships. So uh, that's what I'm getting there. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this flowers card. It says romance and sweetness on it. So you definitely could be attracting someone who's very romantic, very sweet, but you're very kind and caring. I definitely feel you could be attracting that type of person, someone who really will care for you and wants to like put the work in. I feel this person's a little slow moving right now. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Uh, again, I feel like this person is kind of exp has experienced a lot of disappointments in love. So you might have to take your time with this person. I feel it's a good person, but you know, again, a lot of people seem to be getting cards like this. I don't know what's going on in the astrology. It is interesting that in the September monthly readings, pretty much everyone had the Eight of Cups. And I was like, oh, okay, like something's going on where maybe people are walking away from people or, or whatever. So it might be a collective energy. But what I would say here is that you could be dealing with a person who is kind of like a little bit jaded, I feel. I don't, the good news is I don't think they're toxic. It's like, I, I think there are two ways that this could go, right? Sometimes people get hurt and hurt and hurt and they just become jerks <laughs> because they've been hurt so many times. And then there are the people who are just like, well, you know, it's life and I just have to move forward. I, I kind of feel that's where this person is at that you'll be attracting. I feel like they kind of learn the lessons. Maybe they have their pity party or whatever. They feel sad for a couple of days or whatever after a breakup. But I do feel like this person's kind of, you know, just like saying to themselves, like, am, is it ever going to happen for me? You know, am I ever going to meet a person? So that's like where this person is at. And I do feel they need to see you. Like, uh, if I were to, if I were to figure out who this person was for you, Taurus, I would tell them to turn their ass around, right? <laughs> because you have these two cups right here, which lead to this bridge in the castle. So I do, I, like, I would tell this person, like, hey, uh, there's Taurus is right here, much, much better than, you know, this past bozo, whatever the spilled cups are. Uh, you have this Six of Swords as well. So again, I feel like this person is healing, which is the good news. I also feel this person could be going through a major rite of passage. The Six of Swords represents a rite of passage. So if you're looking for a sign or a symbol as to like who this person is, they could be completing like a training at work. They could be getting some sort of uh, certification in like work or business. It's definitely popping into my head. Um, you know, because this is a card of like completing a long journey or, comp you know, going across choppy waters. Again, it's a rite of passage. So it can represent someone who's going through something to earn something. And it's kind of popping up as separate to love for, in my head. So I feel for some of you, this person that's coming in for you is like completing some sort of something where they're going to be recognized for it. So that's nice. Uh, next, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, this person is a little bit slow moving. You know, Knight of Pentacles is a little bit too cautious. So you might find that this person is a little cautious at first, but I actually feel that this person will be changing very quickly. So it's not even something that I would really be too concerned about um, with that energy for sure. Because again, I do feel intuitively this is a good person. I really don't feel like it's an earth sign. Again, I'm not picking I'm not picking up on a sign here, Taurus. So it could be someone who has a lot of earth in their chart though. So that wouldn't really surprise me if it was someone who had like Virgo. I see Virgo here. Um, also, wouldn't surprise me if they had Scorpio, like a Scorpio rising or something like that. But we'll have to see. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have this defense card. Look, <laughs> I said defensive, right? The Knight of Pentacles is defensive. He's not taking action. He's not doing anything, right? He's kind of being too cautious. It's, it is a card of being overly cautious. But, you know, maybe this is you. This is Mars and Taurus. So I feel like some of you, maybe you can break down this person's defenses and kind of like soften them up. And I do feel that energy here. We'll see. With the Six of Swords, you have this uh, domination card here. See, I feel this is actually pretty good. I feel this person coming in is dominating something in their life. They could be becoming very successful in work or business. Maybe they've recently like won some sort of award or had a certification, exactly like I was saying on the Six of Swords. I get some sort of like almost achievement, and I feel like this is saying they're dominating life at this time. So you could be attracting a very successful person. That's what I feel intuitively, not really what those cards mean, but... Again, I read intuitively. I feel like this person gets a lot of attention. Uh, with the Five of Cups, you have this principal card. 
This card reminds me of the Hierophant. I feel that you and this person will share very similar uh, kind of like morals and ethics. And I feel you have very similar beliefs as well. So I kind of like this energy for you, Taurus, where, um, you know, I feel like you're both very similar. You both have very similar um, ideas about how life goes. And again, I feel that will also stand out to me, to, to you. Uh, next, you have this unex in the area of the unexpected. You have this bread card. It says period of prosperity and abundance. Love it. You also have this ear card. It says good news. I feel this is actually communication coming in or you're communicating with a person. So you could be communicating with this person. They could be communicating with you. Take it how it resonates. I feel some of you could be meeting this person after your own transformation. You have the, again, Tower Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords in this diagonal right here. And you have the two of wands right here. This tells me that some of you could be going through like a move or travel or something similar. And so I feel like you'll be meeting this person out in the world, you know, probably in public with that two of wands. I would, you know, I, I think that it would be a good time to socialize, to get out there, to meet new people, all that other stuff. That's probably where you're gonna find love. Uh, you have the king of pentacles, the two of wands and the 10 of swords. I kind of feel this is you showing up here. I feel like you're also looking for something permanent. You know, King of Pentacles kind of represents something permanent, stable, successful, someone who really wants to put in the work, as I always say. So I kind of feel like that's what you're looking for. And um, yeah, I feel this could also be the person coming in for you. I feel they are very secure, stable, very hardworking. Um, this person doesn't give up either. It's like definitely popping to my head. It's I, I'm getting it more on that Knight of Pentacles more than anything. But again, something that you might find attractive about this person is like, again, I feel like they've done a lot of stuff in their life. And I feel like they do a lot of stuff. They like for making money, not that money is like, all, you know, the only thing that's important. But I do feel it's kind of like a side effect of this person. I feel like they're very driven. So because of that, they probably have money or they're probably successful or whatever. They have something to show for it is really what's popping into my head. So there you go. Uh, you have the two of wands. Again, I think what's unexpected here is that you could meet this person in public, believe it or not. So maybe you've never met a person in public before, right? Who has nowadays with Tinder ru ruining meeting people in public? So you could be at like a party or something like that. Could also be long distance as well. Like you could be, but I don't feel this is long distance as in you're like meeting someone online and then traveling. I feel like the travel is happening first. So if you're like traveling anywhere, I feel you could be meeting someone at a distance and then maybe it becomes a long distance relationship because of it. And you also have the Ten of Swords. Uh, you know, again, for whatever reason, I feel this is connected to this right here. Tower, Six of Swords, Ten of Swords. I feel like that's all connected, this diagonal. I feel like for a lot of you, it's kind of like that back and forth energy where it's like you kind of move on, you start feeling better, then you get dragged back into bad feelings. Um, again, if you're like looking at your ex's pictures or anything like that, and if it's dragging you back, that it's popping into my head that that could be something that's holding you back here, Taurus. So, you know, I would be very careful of that, of doing that, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have this empathy card. Yeah, I feel like you're attracting someone who is very empathetic, very, um, you know, I feel this person is very intuitive as well. This is the moon in Pisces. So you could be attracting someone who can almost read your mind. Look, a bird in an ear here. So I definitely feel there are messages coming in for you from a person or there will be coming in for you with this person. So someone wants to talk, someone wants to communicate. With the two wands, you have this control card here. Hmm, I would be careful of like a controlling energy for sure. Uh, at the same time, there's kind of like the world card. It looks like the world card. If you see right here, there's this snake eating its own tail, the Ouroboros. It's funny that I was saying that someone could be coming in after a transformation. The Ouroboros represents uh, a transformation. It also can represent like a reinvention. So, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like you could be attracting someone who is reinventing themselves or has, which we already kind of talked about. And with the Ten of Swords, you have the birth card. I would be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. <laughs> a lot of fertile energy in the astrology right now. So you have that Ten of Swords and this is showing up in the unexpected. So, you know, uh, wrap it before you tap it as the kids say nowadays, Taurus. And uh, I would just be careful with this energy. You know, but overall, I feel like this is definitely true love coming in for you. Definitely uh, a new person entering into your life. And they want to communicate uh, very, very clearly. It's weird I'm not getting a sign again. I feel they could have earth in their chart is what I would say. Uh, we're going to pull three uh, yes, no question cards. Now we're going to do one, two, three. This is going to be yes, no, maybe. Feel free to pause the reading if you need time to think your questions. One, two, three. 
For question number one, you have the seven of pentacles. Uh, I would say yes, uh, for sure. Especially if you're asking about making a change, then yes. For question two, I would say yes, six of cups. Uh, definitely a gift from the universe. I don't really feel this is someone coming back from the past. I feel this is more like you receiving some sort of gift. And for question number three, I would say no. I feel like saying no on this card, although I do feel that, you know, it's like, I feel like saying no, but if you, unless you can see something through to the end, it's like, I kind of see this. I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing in my head. It's like, I see like someone who's kind of like in and out, but not as in a person, although it could be, I feel like it's you. Like when I zone out, it's like you aren't fully committed to something. I almost feel like you're asking about a project or a business or an idea that you have here, Taurus. I feel like this is saying, again, if you can dive all the way into something, if you can allow something to consume your life in a positive way, like a project, then I would say the answer is yes. If you can't, then I would say the answer is no. So that's what I'm getting for you, Taurus. This looks good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.